Hi, fourth grade. I'm bringing you your science Monday lesson for the week. As you can see, I'm wearing my pajamas for Monday Spirit Week. We are gonna be reading Tiny Terror of the Amazon. It's in your Monday packet. It should probably be the first page. So the picture with the frog, I want you to get out this story. It, up at the top, it says Tiny Terror. Now with our reading, we can see our questions already. So we're gonna go through the questions real, for, real quick first, then we're gonna read the story. So looking at question number one, how did the poison dart frog get its name? So while we're reading, we're gonna be thinking about where we can find that answer of how it got its name. Number two, why are scientists trying to protect poison dart frogs? So we're gonna find where they're talking about scientists and why they're trying to protect them. Number three, what happens if poison dart frogs eat only fruit flies or crickets? So we're gonna be looking for the section that talks about when they eat fruit flies or crickets. Number four, a toxin is. This is just looking for the definition of what you would um, define a toxin as. And then number five is your written response, not multiple choice. And remember, when we do written responses, we write in complete sentences. It says, explain why environmentalists are trying to protect the poison dart frog. Environmentalists are people that protect the environment, protect the, na the things that are in nature, the animals, the plants. Um, anything that's in nature, those are environmentalists. They do what they can to protect the environment. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start reading at the top and we're gonna be thinking about our questions that we have to answer as we're reading. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna read down and then over. Because we start on the left, but notice that there's a break. So this side will all get read first and then this side will be red. So follow along with me, practice your reading skills as I'm reading. Stop, don't touch that frog. It may look pretty with its bright blue, red and yellow skin, but don't be fooled. The skin of the poison dart frog secretes a sticky substance called a toxin. This poisonous toxin is strong enough to kill an animal or even a person. So in the first paragraph, it is told us that a toxin is poison and the poison dart frog secretes, means gives off a sticky substance on its skin that, ha that um, has the toxin in it. Continuing with the second paragraph. Poison dart frogs have lived for thousands of years in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. Until recently, this little frog was known only to people living deep within the jungle. Tribal hunters used the poison from the frog's skin to coat the tips of their darts. That's how the poison dart frog got its name. So paragraph two tells us how the poison dart frog got its name. Today, this tiny terror is making a name for itself in the scientific world. Scientists believe that the toxin from the frog's skin could be useful in healing damaged muscles and nerves. This frog may be deadly, but someday its poison may help people recover from diseases or accidents. That's one reason that scientists and environmentalists are trying to protect the poison dart frog. So that gives us scientists and environmentalists. The habitat or home of this frog is quickly disappearing because humans are invading the frog's space. As humans build things like roads and farms, they destroy frogs' homes. Many frogs are now endangered. That means there's not a lot of them left. Keep in mind, not all poison dart frogs are toxic. Toxicity in frogs comes from the things they eat, such as ants, termites, mites, 
and beetles or any insect they find on the ground. The toxins from the insects are passed to the frogs and the frogs hold the toxins in the glands of their skin. In fact, frogs that are raised in captivity and fed fruit flies or crickets will lose their toxicity. And that last paragraph told us what would happen if they ate fruit flies and crickets. And that's it. Quick little read. All the answers are in the story. Go back, find the answers in the story, process of elimination, looking at your answers, what it can't be, eliminate everything it can't be, and then check and make sure that your answer matches what's in the story to get the correct answer. When you're doing your written explanation of why environmentalists, environmentalists are trying to protect the poison dart frog, remember, use a complete sentence. And you can use the information in the question to answer. Quick little turnaround, what would we start our sentence with? When it asks us why environmentalists are trying to protect the poison dart frog, the, a great way to start the sentence would be environmentalists are trying to protect the poison dart frog because, and then give your answer from the story. I hope this helped you with your science this week. And um, I want you guys all to know that I miss you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys are working hard and learning and um, also take time and relax and enjoy yourselves too, okay? Um, I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.